Alright guys, what's up? Uh, am I echoing? Am I echoing? Um, so I'm playing with my friends right now. Um, let me see. Echelon and Explosion, they both bought their PVRs today, and they're trying to set it up. They're having a few complications, and I'm like telling them what to do. And they're like, how do you plug in these wires? And So I'm just helping them out, setting them up their HD PVRs. So as you see on my floor, there is a mess. Because I just bought my H uh, <laughs> HDP here. Uh, I bought my Leopard Gecko. I don't know what to name him yet. I'm thinking about naming him Damon. But he's in there somewhere. I got a sweet background. It's not specifically made for this. I just randomly got a poster and just stuck it up back there somehow. So this is his cage. It looks small, but I'm going to upgrade it to a 20 gallon pretty soon. Um, it's good for now, though, because they don't like to run around a lot. They just normally sleep. But... Um, here are the crickets that the pet store gave me. They gave me like five. Oh, frick. These things scare the living crap out of me. I'm serious. If one got loose and ran around into my room, I would like call for a freaking sanitation dude to like blow up my room. These things just scare me so much. And I want to get them into here because they're going to suffocate in that bag pretty soon. So I'm going to transfer them into that sometime. I don't know when. But, ah. Uh. I really don't like handling these things, but whatever. They just like jump around so much. I don't want them to jump in, into my room, but I'm gonna do that outside when I put when I transfer them from here to there. I'm gonna do it outside because I don't want anyone in my room. All right, so one tour tour of the tank. Uh, there's like some. This is his warm hide, by the way. It's like a little mini cave right there, whatever. So um, just to let you guys know, this is it's supposed to be a desert background because I got caves, caves. Wood, desert plants, but I do have a rainforest background. You're gonna be like wondering, like, what? It's supposed to be a desert background? I'm gonna get a desert background soon. Um, I just can't, couldn't find one, but I'm gonna get a desert one. I'm gonna try really hard to get a desert one, so don't judge me. Don't judge me. Blech. I'm all mixed up today. Alright, um, right here, this is his basking area. Now, I know the basking area is supposed to be between like 90 to 195, whatever. So that, if you can see, it's only on like Barely on the verge of 85. Whoa. Well, it just went up there. I just saw something fly up there. Whatever. Alright. So, I'm going to get a stronger heat bowl because this is not strong enough. This is from a stupid package that PetSmart gave me. I, I really don't like their packages. But it did save me money. So, I'm just going to replace this bulb with a stronger, uh, stronger one made for basking. So, that will reach that and make it to 95. And hopefully make it better. So that's his basking area at the top right there. It's like a little cliff, drop off, whatever. So um, his f water dish is right there. It's like a little leaf stuck to the wall. Not a leaf, it's like ceramic leaf, you know. There's like a bunch of plants, jungle, he can like roam around and get stuck in there. Oh, by the way, he was up on that thermometer, thermometer, um, whatever it's called, temperature gauge. He was up on that and he fell. He did a... Uh, uh, belly flop onto these leaves, but he landed perfectly safe, so he did not get injured. But right now he is in here, in this little, uh, cool, this is cold hide, that's his warm hide, that's his cold hide. So he's inside this cave right now, he's been in here for almost two freaking hours, is that normal? I mean, I think it's normal because they like to hide their first day of exploring, they like to hide. Um... I don't know. I'm scared. I don't like him being in there too long. So let's just open this up. There he is. Little Damon. Or whatever his name's gonna be. He has been in there. Oh, look at him. He's just chilling. Look at his arms. They're just like chilling. I think he likes the cold. So he's just chilling in there. <laughs> Little Damon. Or whatever your name's gonna be. Mystery John Doe. <laughs> he, he fits nice. He's a juvenile, by the way. I don't know if it's a male or female. Um, the dude that sold it to me did not tell me because we forgot to ask, but I'll find out when he gets older. When he gets older, of course, I'll upgrade it to a 20 gallon and I'll make this cave bigger because he will grow out of it. He just barely fits inside right now. He hasn't gone to the top yet. He's only stayed at the bottom. He's just chilling there. He's been there. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to feed him one cricket and let's see if he eats it and then I'll feed him his daily, uh, cricket supply, whatever. But he... I tried putting a cricket already because there was one from the little package he came in. It, they had like a little cricket in there. I just put it in there. He didn't eat it, so I took it out, threw it away outside. So tomorrow morning I'm gonna feed him. It's like um it's like eight o'clock right now. So I'm just gonna let him chill in that cold hide, the little cave, insulated cave. 
So, yeah. He's explored. I don't think he found his water dish yet. He hasn't drank from it yet. He has never gone inside here. He just been on top of it and just scurried down and ran up against into that corner and then I just pushed him into the entrance and that's how he found this little cold hide. He loves it in there. I think that he thinks that's his only hide. He's going to have to explore tomorrow this part of the tank, the warm part. If he doesn't, I'm going to force him. I'm going to pick him up and blah, I'm going to shove him in there. <laughs> That sounds cruel, but I'm not going to shove him in there. I'm just going to make him explore this area, a little forceful exploration. Because I don't want him on the cold side all the time. He'll eventually start to figure it out, though. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. That's my updated tank. That's the day bulb. It's the night bulb is up there, by the way. But as I said, I'm upgrading to a real basking one. This one does not work a lot. It keeps the temperature at a nice 85, which is too low for basking. So, yeah. Say goodbye. Mystery John Doe. Say goodbye to the camera. And you, Mr. Cricket, say goodbye to the camera. Where are you? Mr. Look at him trying to scurry up that wall. I love these things. They're funny, but they scare. Oh, jeez. See, that's why I hate them. They jump around. See, look at that. They just jump. That's what I'm afraid of. I don't want them to jump out of the bag when I release them. That's why I'm doing it outside. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed John Doe. That's not his name, by the way. Look at him, he's so cute. That's the entrance right there, by the way. If you can see that, he enters and exits. Okay. So I'm just going to let him chill, and uh, hopefully I'll have an update video of feeding him whatever with a cricket keeper, because the only one they had was a large, and we didn't need a large, so we're going to wait till they have a st uh, small one in stock. So uh, juggling this and school is going to be pretty tough, but I'll manage. It's not going to be that tough, but whatever. So hope you guys enjoy. And that's my updated video of it, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and I will upload another commentary sometime soon. I'll be talking about this leopard gecko. I'll be talking about what I, how often I feed him, what I do to him, blah, blah, blah. So you'll hear me mention John Doe a couple times. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy, and now I'm going to get back to helping my two friends with their HTP VR problems. So see you guys later. Hasta la vista.